actually this is not the part where it goes on but I've tried to record it for four times and it always told me an error occurred as I press publish so I'm too lazy to read it the fifth time so it's just gonna go on where it stopped and nothing really happened actually Bill just told Suki that he has to go away for a while and if he doesn't if she doesn't hear about him in the next eight weeks she should go to his house uh, to his hiding hole and get his PC and some discs and then go to Eric and tell him about it that's actually what happened it's not much more so we will just go on where I stopped So he was on the way to his, to her work. Mm. My own grandmother had been murdered a few months ago. The Belfleurs hadn't had anything to do with it, of course, and there was no reason Portia and Andy would share the pleasure of this new affluence with me. In fact, they both, avo they both avoided me like the plague. They owed me, and they couldn't stand it. They just didn't know how much they owed me. The Balfours had received a mysterious legacy from a relative who had died mysteriously over in Europe somewhere. I'd heard Andy tell a fellow cop while they were drinking at Mallard's. When she dropped off some rifle tickets for Keith's main Baptist church, Ladies Quilt, Maxine Fortenberry told me Miss Caroline had combed every family record she could unearth to identify their benefactor, and she was still mystified at the family's good fortune. She didn't seem to have any qualms about spending the money, though. Even Terry Belfleur, Portia and Andy's cousin, had a new pickup sitting in the parked dirt yard of his double white. I liked Terry, a scarred Vietnam vet who didn't have a lot of friends and I didn't grudge him a new set of wheels, but I thought about the paranoia, but I thought about the carburetor I'd just been forced to replace in my old car. I'd paid for the work in full, though I'd considered asking Jim Downey if I could just pay half and get the rest together over the next two months. But Jim had a wife and three kids. Just this morning I'd been thinking of asking my boss, Sam Mallard, if he could add to my hours at the bar. Especially with Bill gone to Seattle, I could just about, I could just about live at Mallard's if Sam could use me. I sure needed the money. I tried real hard not to be bitter as I drove away from Belle Reef. I went south out of the town and then turned left onto Hummingbird Road on my way to Mallard's. I tried to pretend that all was well, that on his return from Seattle or wherever, Bill would be a passionate lover again and Bill would treasure me and make me feel voluble once more. I would again have that feeling of belonging with someone instead of being alone. Of course I had my brother Jason, though as far as intimacy and companionship goes, I had to admit that he hardly counted. But the pain in my middle was the unmistakable pain of rejection. I knew the feeling so well, it was like a second skin. I sure hated to crawl back inside in. Chapter 2 I tested the doorknob to make sure I'd locked it, turned around and out of the corner of my eye glimpsed the figure sitting in the swing on my front porch. I stifled a shriek as he rose. Then I recognized him. I was wearing a heavy coat, but he was in a tank top that didn't surprise me really. Al, oh, close call. Uber, how are you? I was trying to sound casual, carefree. I felt, but Boba wasn't the sharpest tool in the shed. 
The vampires admitted that bringing him over when he'd been so very close to death and so saturated with drugs had been a big mistake. The night he'd been brought in and one of the morgue attendants happened to be one of the undead and also happened to be a huge fan. With a hastily constructed and elaborate plot involving a murder or two, the attendant had brought him over, made Baba a vampire. But the process doesn't always go right, you know. Since then, he's been passed around like idiot royalty. Luciana had been hosting him for the past year. Miss Hooky, how are you doing? His accent was still thick and his face still handsome in a jolly kind of way. Let me post this before it doesn't work again because then I will seriously give up. Okay, see you.